Well, yesterday I made a video of the uh, grinder on the right, the hand grinder on the right, the JX Pro. That's the more expensive of the two. And this is the 1Z Presso, imaginatively named JX. And the JX is a bit smaller. The only difference I can see, it's got, uh, this has got the adjustment mechanism in the top. Gives you about 40 clicks um, in total for one revolution. This one is slightly smaller, slightly lighter because the adjustment mechanism is in the bottom. And I think gives, I don't know, about 20 clicks. A coarser, doesn't give you as much fine adjustment, but uh, I don't know if that matters or not really. So what I'm gonna do is try out the uh, cheaper grinder, because this one is cheaper than the JX Pro, obviously. I uh, can't remember how much cheaper. Probably about 20 or 30 pounds. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure to be exact, to tell the truth. Um, let's put that in. And what I'm going to do is put 17 grams in, as before. I don't know if it's quite adjusted for espresso or not. I did try a shot. It was too fast, so I've tweaked the adjustment slightly. I've got just over 17 grams in there. I'll put that away. Um, I'm putting it into this. This is what I wouldn't ideally use to fill it with beans. But the reason I'm putting it into this is I can put the grind cut back and weigh what I got out um, later on. So coffee beans go in there. Screw on the lid. And I'm just going to turn the handle and grind it. This time it might be a bit off screen because it's very difficult to grind with my arms outstretched. So I'm just going to start grinding. You may not see it all. Um, 17 grams probably takes about 65 turns because it's exactly the same burrs in this as in the JX Pro. The burrs are no smaller, so it should grind as quickly. As I said before, requires reasonable effort. It's no effort for me, but if you had arthritis or were very weak in the arms or had a bad wrist or something like that, you wouldn't enjoy this process. Um, there we go. So that's all ground. And what I'm going to do is just weigh what's in the grind container. I'm going to just tap it to, whoops, to try and loosen the coffee. I should have removed that. Just give it a tap, remove it. What I'm trying to do is get most of the stuff off the burrs. Uh, it's a little bit under. Now you can brush it in if you want. I'm 16.83 grams. So obviously it's 0.2 of a gram to brush out. There we go, 17, 17 grams. I'm not too worried. You get a bit of mess when you brush it out. Now, uh, what I tend to do, you can see this is the previous shot I did with it where it was running a bit fast. I put some fresh coffee in the tin because I was down to the last of my coffee. So it's quite possible that the fresher coffee uh, would have would have poured better at, at the old grind level. But I've got a couple of kicks coarser, at finer rather, just to see what it'll grind like. So I'll put those in and we'll have a go. There we go. That's it, pretty much all of it out. We'll do it at this level that off. Like I say, it's great grind quality, it looks exactly the same. That's the previous one. I'll bring it closer, hit the focus. The grind quality is good, but I, I'd expect the same grind quality because it's exactly the same burrs. Let's give, uh, as I say, reinforce on the pro version, you're just paying for sort of finer levels of adjustment of the machine. I'll just give a glass cup and we'll see if this is. Um, if the two notches are made, you know, two marks, what sort of difference it's made. There we go, and away we go. Now soon though, as the pressure rises, if I see the drips, yeah, that's not too bad. Now we will find out exactly what difference two notches and fresh coffee have made in seconds on the pour. Bearing in mind the coffee I've just put in is a bit fresher. So, 
So yeah, that one's running a bit slow. I'm coming up to 30 grams. Okay, that's 30 grams, 39 seconds. So what I'm going to do, and that's wasteful, I'm going to grind another 18 grams of exactly that same batch of coffee, uh, 17 grams rather, of exactly that batch of coffee, and see exactly how many, and I'm not going to edit the video, I'm just going to leave it running, and I'm going to see exactly what that adds to the pour. And I'm going to go one notch coarser, because I did change the coffee, you see, and uh, to sort of fresher stuff from the bag. And what that does, that'll often pour a lot slower than the last bits in an airscape, because they've been open for the week. So let's do that now. Sorry it's a lengthy video, it's all in airtime. I suppose you can skip forward if you trust me, or, or just watch. Watch me suffer. Hand grinding. There we go. So, same amount of coffee. Put this lid on. And I'm going to go one notch, one mark coarser. I think it was 39 seconds. And we're going to see how much adjustability we've got on this. Um, what I have to do to adjust it, unlike the other one, I have to put the handle in and lock it. Then I can go one coarser, which will be one click. So we'll, now if one click doesn't make much difference, that's actually a good thing because it means I've got a good fine level of adjustment for espresso. If one click makes a huge difference, more than five or six seconds, then that's not such a good thing. So let's see what it does. Uh, quickly grind them. So I think it's 39 seconds. I'm hoping it'll go down to 33 with one click. I think that would be quite good. Um, if it goes more than that, that's perhaps not so good. And it might mean that in certain circumstances, for certain coffees, you might have to accept a pour that's slightly quicker or slightly longer than you would like. Um, so for the perfectionist, then the JX Pro may be the better choice. Let's see. Okay, we're all done. Give that, yeah. Learn my lesson and take that off and give it a knock. See where we are. Okay, see what we are. Wait. 16.78, so I can brush around the burrs. In fact, probably the best way is doing what I'm doing, get it all in the corner and then. There we go. Right. 17.03. Exactly the same amount as before. We're going to knock the puck out. Exactly the same as we did before. And brush that out. Okay. What I'm interested in actually giving the cheaper grinder a good go is if the cheaper grinder is going to give you almost, oh I have to keep these clean because they're going to get sold at some point, if it's going to give you almost as good a result and you can save 20 or 30 quid, whatever it is, then a cheaper grinder might be where the smart money goes. Because they both hold the same amount of coffee for grinding, it's not like one grinder holds more coffee than another, they both, it says they hold 35 on the, on the Zpresso website, my view is probably closer to 2025. But that's only an estimate, I haven't tried it. So, let's see what happens. It's exactly the same. Get another glass. Gosh, I'm going to be drinking a lot of coffee. And we'll see what this one does. Okay, hopefully you can see it. Yeah, oh, that, that's looking much better. I can tell instantly. And this is one click difference, and I want to see to 30 grams of extracted output what difference we get on time. So I'm going to kill it at 30 grams. There we go. So 29.6. Actually, we've got 32 grams, but 
That is quite a difference for one, just one notch. This does mean that this will reduce its degree of fine adjustability for espresso. So for the perfectionist, you might want to spend, I don't know, 20, 30 quid more, whatever it is, get that one, yeah? Because that will, that's double the fineness of adjustment. If you're not that bothered, uh, and this has extracted a good shot, then this one. But there might be occasions where you're not going to quite get exactly the time you want. You may have to accept, you know, a few seconds longer or shorter than you'd ideally want. So with this, maybe out of like 33 seconds, but actually I was down to just under 30, 30 seconds from 39. Yes, I've got a good pour. Yes, there's nothing wrong with the coffee. Um, but for the perfectionist, then maybe it's worth spending the extra 30 quid. If you're fairly easy about it and you're not worried and you maybe want to up dose a gram, down dose a gram, or accept that one click might alter you by eight, eight seconds on the pour, then the smart money can go here and save a few more. Uh, same burrs, looks like quality output. The taste is, is excellent from them. Uh, I'm not noticing any real problems with the taste of the coffee. That's it.